Okay. So problem statement. Find the magnitude of the two forces such that if they act at right angles, the resultant is root of 10 Newton to stop. But if they act at 60 degree, the resultant is root of 30 Newton. Okay. So we need to calculate F1 and F2. F1 and F2 forces. Okay. F1 and F2. So first, there are two conditions it is given. In condition one, in condition one, the angle between the forces, angle between forces, the angle between forces, that is theta is equal to 90 degree. And for that resultant R is equal to R is equal to root of 10. R is equal to root of 10. So it is root of 10. R is equal to resultant it is root of 10. Okay. So for that, as per the law of parallelogram, resultant R is equal to R is equal to root of root of root of root of f1 square f1 square root of f1 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus f2 square f2 square, f2 square plus 2 f1 plus F1, F2, F1, F2 cos theta, cos theta. Here theta is equal to 90 degree. So R it is, put R is equal to it is root of 10. Put R is equal to root of 10. Root of 10. Root of 10 is equal to, is equal to root of root of f1 square f1 square f1 square plus 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 f2 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus Two F one F two cos ninety cos ninety okay cos ninety so root of root of ten and write down root of ten root of ten is equal to root of root of root of root of and make it f1 square f1 square f1 square plus f2 square f2 square okay. so cos 90 it will be zero so f1 f2 and 2 this term it will be at zero so squaring on both sides Querying on both sides, querying on both sides, querying on both sides. So 10 is equal to 10 is equal to F1 square. F1 square plus F2 square. Plus F2 square. Plus F2 square. Okay. So write down this one. It is equation number one. This one it is equation number one. Okay. So now condition two. Condition two it is given. If the angle between forces, if angle between forces that is theta is equal to 60 degree. Theta is equal to it is 60 degree. 
and 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 resultant r is equal to r is equal to root of 13 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 okay so just put in equation of parallelogram so r it is root of 13 r is equal to root of 13 root of 13 root of 13 is equal to is equal to root of root of f1 square plus f2 square root of so called f1 square f1 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus 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 2 f1 plus 2 f1 f2 cos 60 degree cos 60 degree okay cos 60 degree put here i will write here so root of 13 root of 13 root of 13 root of 13 is equal to is equal to is equal to f1 square root of and bracket f1 square f1 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus plus cos 60 it will be cos 60 it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 2 it will be 1 plus f1 f2 f2 okay now squaring on both side squaring on both side squaring on both sides squaring on both sides squaring on both sides so it will get 13 is equal to f1 square f1 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus f1 f2 plus f1 f2 okay so this one it is equation number two so put put equation number one in equation two in equation two that is means f1 square plus f2 square is equal to 10. Okay, actually it is f1 square plus f2 square is equal to 10. Okay, so this one put in equation number 2 here. So it is 13 is equal to f1 square plus f2 square, it will be 10 plus f1 f2. We can write down f1 f2 is equal to 13 minus 10, so it will be 3. Okay, so this one write down equation number 3. Equation number 3. Okay, so now solve. Now solve. So we know that in bracket f1 plus f2, f2 bracket square bracket square is equal to is equal to is equal to f1 square plus f1 square plus plus f2 square 
f2 square plus plus 2 f1 plus 2 f1 f2 okay so is equal to write down so f1 plus f2 square it will be this one it is 10 plus 2 f1 f2 it will be 3 it will be get total 10 plus 6 it is 16 16 okay. 16 you can write down so f1 plus f2 you can write down now f1 plus f2 is equal to it will be 4 it will be 4 write on this one it is equation number Four. Four. Okay. Okay. So now f1 plus f2 square is equal to it is 10. So note down this value just. So now we know that second, second equation root of f1. I will note down this value. Equation number four. This one it is equation number four. Okay. Oh. So now in bracket F one minus F two bracket square. Bracket square is equal to is equal to F one square, F one square plus F two square plus F two square plus F two square minus two F one F two okay. is equal to F one square plus F two square. It will be this one value it is 10 then minus 2 into f1 f2 it is 3 okay so 10 minus 6 it will be 4 okay so now you can write down f1 minus f2 is equal to it will be 2 okay so this is equation number 5 so solve equation number Fourth and fifth, it will be get F one and F two value from this. Okay, solve equation number C and fourth and fifth. I will write down here fourth equation F one plus F two is equal to it is four. I will write down F one plus F two is equal to four. So this minus this plus it will be cancelled. So it will be get two f one is equal to six. Two f one is equal to four plus two it is six. F one is equal to f one is equal to it is three newton. Three newton. And find out f two value from the equation number three. So the f one is equal to in equation number. Put F one value in equation three. In equation three. So what is equation number three? Equation number three it is F one. F two is equal to it is three. So F one is equal to it is three. So it will be three by three, it will be get one newton. Okay. So these are the two forces. F one it is three newton and F two it is one newton. Okay. So find the magnitude of these two forces. So F1 it is 3 newton and F2 it is 1 newton. Okay. So this is your answer. Okay. This one first is this is your answer and F2 it is this.